Hi there, Jeff here from Wetsuit Centre, talking to you today about the Seaskins Angel Ladies Summer Wetsuit. This one's in a 4.3 in terms of thickness for summer, uh, spring and autumn of 2013. So, when we say 4.3, we basically mean the thickness of the wetsuit, and this particular suit that we're stocking is a 4.3, so 4mm of neoprene on the lower body and 3mm on the upper body where you need a little bit more stretch. Yeah, so that's basically what that refers to. Um, for those of you that don't really know anything about Seaskins, Seaskins are a British based company um, based down in Cornwall. Um, they know a lot about making wetsuits, especially for British conditions, UK conditions, but they do ship internationally now, selling wetsuits in Australia, all over Europe, um, all over the world basically. Uh, because their quality of wetsuits is just as good as any other top manufacturers, they come out of the same factories, they're just designed to Seaskins specifications, so particularly good for uh, cold waters. So, the Seaskins Angel then, what's it all about? Um, it's quite a well-priced wetsuit. For this particular suit, you're talking £115, I think, in the UK, which is fantastic uh, for the amount of suit that you're getting. Especially because this is a 4.3, so perfect for um, anyone who wants to use it in spring or through the summer, if you prefer a bit of a thicker suit, if you feel the cold, and then obviously through into autumn as well. So, you can use this suit for the majority of the year, hopefully, depending on the um, climate and how warm or cold it is. The um, suit itself... Um, has a few features which is worth going through uh, and you get a lot of technology for your money. So first we mentioned the 4.3 which is the thickness of neoprene and that particularly suits um, girls that feel the cold in the UK waters uh, but also really good for sort of spring and autumn as well in the UK. Uh, so you're talking water temperatures of sort of like 12 degrees upwards really. Um, the suit itself is glued and blind stitched so what we mean when we say that for those of you who aren't familiar is the seams are stitched halfway through. Um, on the outside and on the inside they're glued just to seal them off basically and that stops any water penetrating the suit and getting into the suit so you stay drier for longer, uh, warmer for longer and um, in the water for longer which is the name of the game. <coughs> the uh, colourway then is specific to um, sea skins, really nice mix of, sort of blacks, pinks and whites um, so it's a good looking suit. Uh, the men's sort of version of the suit is the legend and uh, you get similar sort of technical features in that suit but obviously it's designed uh, for guys. So the actual sort of uh, shape of the suit is specifically designed for women. They've put a lot of money and time into what they call Future Fit, which is uh, Seaskin's um, particular sort of brand of fitting suit. So they've uh, sunk a lot of research and money into making sure that suits um, fit well, basically, which is the most important thing about a wetsuit, and uh, Seaskin's recognise that. Uh, so the actual sort of shape of the suit is very sort of um, designed for ladies, uh, including the smooth skin, which dips down a bit lower. And uh, the idea of that is just to sort of, um, you know, the shape of the suit looks better on a woman's figure. So that's more of a sort of aesthetic thing. But at the end of the day, it sort of looks better. And obviously the template itself is more curv curvaceous. And the placing of the chest panel is uh, bearing in mind or taking into consideration uh, a lady's cleavage. Uh, around the back of the suit, uh, again, specifically designed for ladies. All the cut of the suit is designed to sort of look better on a woman. And, um, and designed with a woman's shape in mind, including like the smooth skin, the way that it's sort of, uh, um, this panel here basically is curved around the bum and up around the sides as well. Okay, um, I don't know how they've drawn these conclusions, but uh, I'm told that it's ergonomically or specifically designed for a woman's shape. Um, okay, so the actual neoprene of the suit is comprised of two different types of neoprene. Um, essentially, the more money that you pay for a wetsuit, the more of the high quality stretchy neoprene you'll get running through that suit. With this particular suit being £115, the lower body is what we call the standard BTN neoprene, which isn't as flexible, but having said that, it's still good in a good quality suit like this. Um, but as you get into the upper body, you get the really soft ultra stretch neoprene, which has got a huge amount of flexibility in it. Really soft to the touch, loads of movement, it'll feel great when you've got the wetsuit on. Uh, and that's in pretty much the most of the upper body. And again, real loads of attention to detail around the panels of the wetsuit. Sort of trying not to put any seams where you need uh, perfect movement. So under the arm stretch panels there, basically no seams running under the armpit to make sure that you've got full movement in the arm and the same around the shoulders as well. So all of the seams and where they're placed are very sort of uh, um, carefully thought through to make sure they don't restrict you and restrict the movement of the wetsuit. This particular suit is a uh, back zip wetsuit. Okay, so if I open it up, let's have a look. The zip comes quite far down the back, so it's easier to get in and out of that back zip suit. Uh, with this particular suit, it's really good as well. You have what we call a back wing system or an over the head system. And what that is, it's a piece of neoprene sewn into the back of the wetsuit, which goes up and over your head. And basically what that will do is any water that comes in through the back of the suit through the zip 
but the zip itself is a specially treated and coated zip to be waterproof. But if any water does come through, rather than going straight onto your skin, it's met with this back panel and then it's uh, drained out through these drain holes to stop any water getting into the suit. The zip is a YKK zip as well, so it's a very heavy duty zip which won't corrode and seize up after a few months of use, uh, specifically, specifically designed for that. And also, this um, close-out system, or the batwing system, means that any water that flushes through the collar, rather than going straight into the suit again, the majority of it is guided out to the back of the wetsuit and out through the holes at the bottom, which are little drain holes. Inside the wetsuit is another one of the sort of key features. You'll see this yellow panel, and this is all over the chest panel of the wetsuit. And basically what this is, is a thermal material, or a polypro material, which is non-absorbent and very good at insulating you. So instead of heat being lost through the suit, your body heat uh, lost through the neoprene, what this panel will do will keep that heat that's leaving your core inside the suit for longer, keep you warmer, keep your organs warmer, which in turn keeps your blood warmer, which in turn keeps your whole body warmer. Okay, so you get that through the whole chest, okay, which is fantastic for a suit of 115 pounds and in a 4-3 as well. And if I move a bit closer, you can see the sort of smooth skin collar here. And basically what that's designed to do is to stop any rub or chafing around the neck, okay, and to create a good seal around the neck. It's double lined, and basically what it allows you to do is two pieces of neoprene move up and down against each other. Rather than um, uh, actually rubbing up and down against your neck, the inside piece, which is smooth, will stick to your neck, and the outside piece will move up and down, making sure it minimises any sort of rash or abrasion on your neck. Okay, so that's a nice little feature as well. Further down the suit, you've got some of the standard stuff, which we always mention, always mention which is a Duraflex knee pad, uh, again specifically designed to make sure the knee locks in nice and comfortably, but it's a very robust material which just stops the knee wearing through, so particularly great if you're learning to do something, because a lot of the time you spend a lot of time wearing down the knees on the wetsuit, if you're windsurfing, um, if you're surfing, I think that the knees really suffer, so they've thought about that, put in uh, the really sort of durable uh, material, which is the Duraflex, to try and stop that happening. Um, so that's pretty much everything that's go everything going on on the Sea Skins Angel, a uh, good looking wetsuit, um, really great for people that feel the cold in the um, summertime and want something that's going to keep them that little bit warmer, so you've got the 4-3 option there as well, but also great for people that just want a good quality, flexible wetsuit uh, for general water sports use.